Hey, what's up guys, it's Gunfif here, and welcome to this Mana Match Tev Edge review. As you can see, there is a Mana Match Joe Hart in this team. That review will be out later on today, but let's talk about Tevez. 3.4 million paid for him, took me a bit of a while to get him, but when I did, I was glad, because he is freaking awesome. Caused a bunch of rage quits, as you can see, scored a bunch of goals as well. 6 games, 12 goals, 2 assists, that is a great record indeed. And overall, just look at his card. 91 dribbling, 92 shooting, 89 physical, 89 pace, 83 passing. Honestly, do not know where to start because he was just so fun to play with. His dribbling is awesome as well. His dribbling is so good. It was just so easy to run through defences and run around the keeper. You'll see it multiple times throughout the clips because that's what he does. He's so damn good on the ball and he was just fun to run with because he, although he is small, 5 for 8, because he's so strong, he just like ducks under the tall defenders and just runs like rings around them. It's ridiculous and uh, he's got the finishing as well. So once he's once he has broke the line, he's got the finishing to put the ball in the back of net with that with the finesse or with the, with the shot power because his shot power is very, very good. Really lethal and does a lot of damage. The only real negative I could find about the guy um, was his work rates. They took him out of position a bit, but to be honest, when as soon as he got on the ball, he made up for it because he was so quick, so strong on the ball, and yeah, he was just so good. Look at the ball control. Really, really nice. Eventually fires it across goal. Goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance, and he was so quick to do that. As I say, look at this. Somehow... Nicks the ball, Keelin has got no chance, he's not going to get back at him and eventually dinks it around the keeper and a nice little finish on his left foot, on his freestyle weak foot, puts the ball in the back of net. Once again, breaks through Saka, you're not going to catch him, you're not going to catch him, sees the man in the box, whips it in nicely and Palacio gets pretty much a nice little tap in but he does make the most of it and makes it 1-1 in that game and you're going to see the same again, he breaks away so well, he would be a great cam in the 4-2-2-2, really really would be because his passing is awesome, his long shots are awesome and he's very very quick, look at that, stays on his feet, brilliant ball across the box and Chamberlain gets tapping, very nice play from Tevez once again, makes a great run here, round the keeper as I say, it's just so easy because he's so quick, he's so good in the ball, so easy to dribble with, just dink it around the keeper and put the ball in the back of the net, did it multiple times, and he was just so effective like some of the goals look like they're on repeat because look once again around the keeper easy 2-0 I don't know why it was so easy with this guy I've played with like second form Bamiyang and he just didn't have the dribbling like he's got the pace but he just doesn't have the dribbling that Tevez does have and look at that first time finish on the volley very nice goal from Tevez really really clinical as I said and he was a lot of fun to use ball over the top to Tevez takes it down got the strength got the pace to get around these defenders cuts back inside straight across goal and there you have it 2-0 another goal for Tevez I've got too many clips to actually put in this review. I didn't want it to be like four or five minutes long. I wanted to try and keep it as short as possible because Man Match Tevez was absolutely awesome for me. Very quick on the ball. His dribbling's great. His ball control's good. Very strong on the ball as well, which is awesome to see for someone who's five for eight. And overall, I've run out of like things to say like positively because he's so good. The only thing I want to bring up is that the only negative I found was his wear creates. Yeah, he's not going to be winning too many headers, but to be honest, that's fine. Keep the ball on the floor with this guy. You'll create chances. You'll score goals. He was awesome. Is he worth 3.4 million? Uh, it's a tough one. It really, really is a tough one. I wouldn't really recommend paying 3.4 million for anyone to most. His normal card's pretty good, but um, I've got to say this Man Match card was absolutely awesome. If you do have the coins, definitely worth trying out, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, that is my review of Man Match Tevers. Hope you have enjoyed. There will be a Man Match Your Heart review out soon. Have a good day. Adios. Hey, what's up guys, it's Gampy here, and welcome to this Inform Benteke review. As you can see, we got him in a very sweaty BBL team, and I paid 300k for him, which is his maximum price range. I believe his price range is 150k to 300k, so he's actually...